Greetings and salivations, everyone! I'm Krista, and welcome to Sea Rad. Guys, it's finally here. I'm unboxing the Hot Toys The Child life-size figure today. I'm so excited, so stay tuned. And if you love our videos and want to see more, please subscribe to our channel and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss seeing us in the future. Sea Rad! Well, hello, 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 everyone. Welcome. We hope everyone's doing totally rad today. Guys, yeah, that's it. I promise this time it's not Conrad hiding in a box. This time it actually is my Hot Toys life-size figure. And I know other people have had theirs already, and there's videos out there, and there's pictures across the internet, but I have been trying to avoid them. I did not want any spoilers. I have not opened him yet, so we are going to take him out of the box. You'll get my actual reaction to seeing him for the first time. I'll show you everything that comes with him, and of course I'll rate him on our scale of totally bad to totally rad. So, you ready guys? Let's do this. Let's take this puppy out of the box! I'm not sure how it's going to be when I open it. I'm not sure if it's just the carton that he came in and then his box inside, or if there's going to be another box inside that. But, yeah, here we go! breaking that seal. <laughs> They're hiding him really good, guys. There is a piece of cardboard on top here. So let's get rid of that. And then inside the box. This is his box. Oh, so super excited. So, yes, here he is, out of the box. I know you guys can barely see me, but I know you don't care. You just want to see this dude here. But his box, this is actually a sleeve that slides over the inside box. So let's get that off of there. And then the box underneath, guys, it's like actually decorated like the hover pram. And it says on the back, Mandalorian the child. It's got the little sides of the pram. And then on the front, it says Star Wars, and then it says the child collectible figure. But guys, are you ready? Because he's right inside here, and I'm so excited. I can't wait. Let's do it. Look at his precious face! Oh, guys, I know you can't see it real well. But he's inside plastic, inside his box, so let's pull that out so we can see what the actual inside of the carton looks like. And guys, I have to tell you, this box is fabulous, and I have a use for it other than storing the child. So, yay, I'm excited. I think I'm going to keep Fisher's clothes in it. That'd be really fun. But, okay, I got him, so let's get back to the child. Inside his plastic is the child, and then back behind him in that black stuff, is the other hands and ears that come with him. So I really, really just cannot wait to get you out of here, dude. Let's look at your hands and stuff. Here's all the accessories that come with them. It's his changeable ears. There's a shifter knob. There's a mythosaur pendant. And then there's two sets of hands and a base. But dude, you're the important one. Let's get you out of there. Whew. When you open the box, he does have a strong smell, guys, but that's just to be able to preserve him in the packing. So, yeah, he's a little smelly. Hi, little Grogu. Hi. Oh my God, guys. Guys. He's just... Oh, hold on. You just... You have to see him up close. Guys, look at this face. Look at it. Oh my god. I love you so, so much, dude. All right. You've got little plastic baggies on your hands and feet. So let's get those off. And yeah. Oh, guys. Look. Uh, I just, I'm so excited. Oh, and I'm so emotional right now. There he is, guys. All the plastic is off of him. He is, he is beyond amazing. It's just the quality of his little robe. It's a little weathered and kind of not as dirty as it probably should be, but the flow on it is awesome. 
and he's got his hands which turn so super cute and guys yes he's got feeties look at these feeties they are so super cool look at the bottom and just the detail on the bottom of his feet and the detail on the nails and on the hands you are really super cute there little kiddo ah and look at his fuzzy little hair <laughs> his hair oh my god so cute of course it doesn't go on the ears which is the same thing with the sideshow one because the ears on this dude are interchangeable so let's pull out his little accessories and see all the different ways that you can make this little guy come to life so i've got all of his little accessories out of the box here I've got his ears so we're going to change those got his hands i'm going to show you how easy it is to change those I wanted to show you the Razor Crest ball. The details on it are awesome. It's kind of weathered, so it's not bright and shiny, but it's really awesome. And I believe there's a magnet in this because it just stuck to the ear. So yeah, definitely a magnet inside this Razor Crest ball. And it just goes right in his hand and he can play with his little Razor Crest ball. So super cute. but. These aren't the only hands that come with him, guys. He's got two other sets. Looking at them detail-wise, the detail on the extra hands are just as good as the ones on the ones on him already. Now to change his hands, it's really easy, guys. You take his arm and you just wiggle it and pull it out. They are magnetized on there. So there is a little pull underneath here that goes into the changeable hands. Let's put a different hand on them so we can see what it looks like. So putting the hand on, you just slide it up there into that peg and yep, and then his arm is on there. Yes, his hands will fall off if you kind of tug at them really hard. See, just pops right off of there. But he's not meant to be roughly played with. He is a collectible figure. But there is the force hand. Little baby do that magic hand thing. <laughs> so cute little dude. The other hands that come with them, you've got this one here. And then you've got this set here, which is just like a set of two hands that are exactly the same. But I like the hand that came with him on this hand. And I love the little force hand. So we're going to leave you like that for now, little dude. And we're going to change out your ears so you can see the different ears that come with them. So the ears are actually magnetized on him. So to take the ears off, you actually just pull up a little bit and it comes unattached. And then to put the new ear on, you just do that. Let me do the other one so you can see his little down ears. They got the little side of the head, got that. And just stick it in. And now he's got the look where he's like, mm, and his little ears are back and he's oh so cute. I love you, dude, you're awesome. But I'm not sure. I think I like the other ears better, guys. Which ones do you like better? The down ears or the up ears that he came with? I'm not really sure. I, yeah, I guess these are really cute. I'll probably be changing his ears a lot depending on my mood and his mood. You got a mood, dude? He's totally got a mood. His body underneath the robe, he's just got this little black kind of like neoprene type material and that's just to give him a little bit of softness that's over the hard body his legs are on a little ball joint so you can make him sit you can make him stand I'm not sure if he stands on his own that's something that I'm going to have to discover as I kind of play with him a little bit more can you change his robe unfortunately I mean technically you'll probably find a way to be able to do it but his little under robe here is actually attached to his head. So I would not even attempt to change his robe because it's just perfect the way it is. This dude does not need to be dressed up in clothes. This is Grogu. This is 100% Grogu and so super cute. And of course, his face. I know you've all been looking at his teethies. And anyone who knows anything about the Hot Toys knows that they remodeled it kind of at the last minute so that he has a mouth that opens and closes. So you ready to see it, guys? You just gotta kinda get your finger in there, pull it down, there's one click, and there's all the way open, two click. He's like, ah! <laughs> 
super cute. But yeah, he's got teethies in there, guys. So do not stick your finger in or he might bite your finger. But it was a little bit open when it came, but his mouth actually closes all the way, too. And that is my favorite look right there, guys. That needle fish. So adorbs. So, so adorbs. Look at those cheekies. A lot of people were wondering about the material on his face. Yep, it's like a little rubber, very soft vinyl that is covering the articulated jaw so that you can get your finger in there and open it even just a little bit or a lot bit whichever way you want to do it close your mouth dude there you go <laughs> the paint job on him is awesome the ears and the hands and the feet they're a harder material so the only part that's that rubbery vinyl is his head and it is over a harder skeleton but Guys, what do you think of him so far? Is he not like the most precious thing ever? Now, as far as articulation on the entire body, yes, his head does move from side to side. Very super cute, so you can make him look at different things. It does not move up and down. I mean, maybe a little tiny bit, but not a lot. And when you're turning his head, be very careful of his hair, because yeah, it's rooted in there, but it still could come out easy because that is a thin layer of that rubber vinyl. And his ears, if you're turning the head, don't turn it by the ears because his ear will just pop right off. And then we've got a one-eared Grogu. His arms move up and down. His arm actually is really hard to move up and down, even though it's kind of on a joint that's meant to do that. But I think that's probably because of the robe. But he's also articulated right here where the hand comes to the arm and you can actually bend his little force hand up there so he's kind of like doing that magic hand thing and both arms bend that way so yeah you can put him in all kinds of different positions as far as the feet go they do move from side to side and his legs don't bend at the knee but he does go in that sitting position so Lots of articulation on this dude. It is a life-size action figure, and I'm gonna have so much fun taking pictures with this guy and having him in videos. Fisher's not getting put to the side, guys. This is Fisher's newest brother, and Fisher is actually really excited, and I can't wait to see those two in a video together. That's gonna be totally fun. So I had to complete his look and put his little mythosaur on him. Guys, I'm just, I'm over the moon, and I can't wait to actually take some time and get a better look at him. I just wanted to unbox him, give you guys all the details that I could, and yeah, we're going to have more videos on this guy, so yeah, stay tuned for that. But, you know, on our scale of totally bad to totally rad, he is like a bajillion times past totally rad. Yeah, what do you think of that, dude? Yeah, you think that's totally rad? Yeah, you are uh, definitely a bajillion times past totally rad. All right, so guys, this is still available on Sideshow's website. He is $410. Luckily, I was able to kind of pay mine off in little increments, and I still think they have that layaway plan available. So if you want to grab him, he is affordable if you spread out his payments, and any collector and Baby Yoda lover needs to have this guy in their life. Of course, we cannot forget his predecessor from Sideshow, the actual Sideshow figure. I reviewed that before, guys. If you missed that video, you can check it out right there. I was kind of on the fence about getting him, and then I finally did. But yeah, check that out if you haven't seen it. But also, I'm going to be doing a comparison video between this guy and the other guy. I'm going to break out the table and have them side by side and let you guys get a really good look at them together. So stay tuned for that. But in the meantime, if you liked this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more awesome and totally rad things in the future, please subscribe to our channel and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss seeing us. And I guess there's only one thing left to say, right, little dude? We'll see you later.